You want to write bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Don't challenge me! Today we're trying U.S. President's favorite foods and you'll have to guess whose it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. President. That's gonna be hard. I don't even know any presidents. <laughs> There's a lot of presidents. We've had a lot of presidents in our time. I know roughly three presidents. Well... I'm not an American citizen. I was, I was gonna say you're new to the country. Oh! oh. Trust Bread's me. all nice and toasted oh, and the cheese is all beautiful. nice and melty. Up first we have a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. I don't even remember the last time I had a grilled cheese. Might be one of the best grilled cheeses I've ever had, and it's not even like warm and ooey gooey, and it's still good. Do you know I hate cheese except a grilled cheese sandwich? Who do you think loves grilled cheese sandwiches? Is it A, John Adams? Oh, good multiple well, choice, bitch. B, Barack Obama? Or C, Franklin Delano Roosevelt? I already know who I'm voting for, and that's strictly because I would vote for him again if he ran again. Ooh, I know, I need another bite too to help me process these thoughts. Hmm. Is the grilled cheese that old though? I got my answer, it's my probably two. wrong. Mm, two, two, cat. I'm going to see. I'm going Frank Ruse. He's awesome and he would love a good grilled cheese. Who wouldn't? He seems like a grilled cheese kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it other than that. I, I think Obama had more class than that. But yeah. I also thought maybe it could be C for some reason. I say FDR because I feel like the grilled cheese is kind of old, so I feel like you would like it? Between the 1920s and 1970s, they didn't call them grilled cheeses. You know what they called them? Sammy flats. Oh, that's what I would have said. <laughs> cheese dreams. Oh, that's cute. Bring that back. Dreams. I mean, I get dreams about yeah. cheese. According to Henrietta Nesbitt, Roosevelt's White House oh, housekeeper. Right. FDR loved a grilled cheese sandwich in addition mm. to other <laughs> classic American foods. How do you feel about FDR's love of grilled cheese sandwiches? It feels right. Yeah, it does, it does. FDR. I don't know, sounds about white to me. <laughs> so. George. He was also the president during the Great Depression. Simple I'm kind of depressed that I didn't get this right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have jelly beans. Ooh, jelly oh. beans. Ooh. Oh, I, I already know this one. I like the this buttered one. popcorn ones. Those are good. I'm not, ooh, butter popcorn. <laughs> the butter popcorn ones slaps, wait. <laughs> jelly beans became a regular Penny candy in the 1900s and were the first confection to be sold by weight rather than price. So who do you think loves jelly beans? Is it A, Joe Biden, B, Ronald Reagan, or C, Bill Clinton? So I'm sorry, one more time. I was, I was trying to see if, if, uh, if Sharon's face shifted at any point. So she gives away me. nothing. It's a competition. I don't know, Joe. I don't, I don't cheat, right? I'm uh -huh. very, I'm very, um... <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna go B. I don't remember who was B, but B feels good. B is in Bonzo, like bedtime for Bonzo. For all the jelly beans. All the jelly beans. Cut. Reagan. I think I might have heard this before. Why do you think it's Ronald Reagan? Because I feel like he's the most ancient. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say old. I feel like Joe Biden's a jelly bean kind of guy. Ronald Reagan was obsessed with a colorful snack. Period. 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 Oh, we knew it. <laughs> ah, we're both wrong. Ronald Reagan was obsessed with the colorful snack and at one point reportedly ordered more than 300,000 to be placed around the Capitol, White House, and other federal buildings each month. Mm -hmm. Seems yeah. excessive. It's just a little excessive. Um, it was Reagan. Fair enough. <laughs> Three choices. We have to we think each older, I think. We chose a different answer and we were still wrong. Whoa. Is that ketchup and mustard? Is that pickles? Yeah, there's a lot happening in this moment in time. Next, we have a rather interesting creation, the cheeseburger pizza. It's a margarita pizza topped with bacon, beef, pickles, a sprinkle of cheddar, and then drizzled with ketchup and mustard before serving. Looks like somebody found this in a dumpster. Mmm. Mmm. Um, well, that's really something. Well, I'm not mad at that. Mm -mm. It's better than I thought, but it's still a little weird. Ooh, the pickle. All right, now I gotta think of which psycho likes this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, this kind of pizza has to be new. So it's definitely not an older president. Maybe a more current one. Might be uh, Bush Jr. Nah, he's gonna go barbecue. Who loves this Franken food? Is it A, Dwight D. Eisenhower, B, Herbert Hoover, or C, George W. Bush? I'm gonna go with my gut feeling even if I'm wrong again. I feel this is like a very modern food. I would agree. Oh, you got some ketchup right there, mustard. There you go. Probably not him, but I have to do it because I grew up where his dam was built. You wanna write bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Don't challenge me! Ready? One, two, three. Go. I don't know. 
<laughs> you just like the name George. I she copied me. I know I said to go older. Me. I no, really I'm... am just feeling like George W. would be barbecue. Former White House chef Christiana Comfort told reporters after the president left the office that George W. loved what he called homemade yeah. cheeseburger pizzas. Ooh, it would be George W. George W. Bush loved what he called cheeseburger pizzas. Yeah. There yeah. we go. We got one we right. Got one. Hell yeah. That's a weird George. I like that more than I thought I would have. Oh great, bacon. Sure, this is an easy one. Up next, a very simple favorite, bacon. Mm. You now, now you spoil us. It'd be funny if they serve it to us raw. You liked Ew. it raw. <laughs> Eat it. Ah, stop. Some good bacon. Everybody likes bacon. Yeah. Was it A, Abraham Lincoln, B, Grover Cleveland, or C, George Washington? I know this one. Can I phone a friend? The answer is A, B, and C. Oh, that would be a twist. Mm-mm. 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 M
It was actually his enslaved chef, James Hemmings, who learned to make the dish and is, of course, the one who labored to prepare it and cook it. I mean, Jesus criminy, guys. Do you have to... Uh, yes. Do we have to steal everything? Yes. In fact, mac and cheese is a celebrated food for blacks in the South long before Jefferson ever caught wind of it. Absolutely. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm not surprised. And Sounds about white to me, yet again. <laughs> Izzy, you are six for six and our winner today. Oh, you flat nailed that. So George is a loser, basically. Honey, losers are hot people. Losers are hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy this fun historical food challenge? Let us know. And be sure to tell us what other challenges do you want to see? Let us know in the comments below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to People vs. Food. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>